Hola, my amigos. Welcome back to Learn Spanish World. Mr. Briggs here, ready to cover today's lesson. In Spanish, we have two you. Did you know that in Spanish we have two pronouns for you? That's right, tú and usted. Both of them mean you. But which one should you use? But before proceeding any further, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. By subscribing, you will help me to continue producing free lessons for you. So click the subscribe button and the little bell in that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So I cover a wide range of lessons. Grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, practical Spanish, history, you name it. You will find a lesson in my channel. Please subscribe and help me continue growing this channel. Unlike in English, we have two personal pronouns for you in Spanish, namely tú and usted. Both mean you. However, how do we distinguish which one should we use depending any circumstances that we may come across? We are just about to see that. But before we proceed any further, let's go through the learning intentions for today. It's very important to set goals. And the goal for today is students will learn when to use tú and usted. Students will learn how to abbreviate usted. That's right, because usted is commonly abbreviated. And third, students will be able to understand what tutiarme means and when to do it. Tutiarme is a very important Spanish word that you will come across very frequently. So stay to the very end and you will uncover a Spanish secret. Excelente. The success criteria is as follows. Students will be able to differentiate and use tú and usted by addressing people in an appropriate manner. That's right, you can't call everybody tú, just as you can't call everybody usted. We are going to learn how to differentiate and how to decide when to use each of them. Students will be able to identify and use usted correctly, particularly when reading or writing. Students will be able to respond to tutiarme, that's the secret palabra, the secret word for today. And you will be able to adjust your speech accordingly. Fantastico. Tú. It kind of sounds a little bit like you. Tú is informal. And usted is formal you. That's right. Whenever you want to address somebody as you in an informal manner, you would use tú. You should use tú to address your friends, younger children, your classmates, your family, pets, anyone who addresses to you using you. So if you feel comfortable with your friends, if they're about the same age as you, you would actually use tú. But that's not all. Let's clarify this so we gain a deep understanding. Let's see some ejemplos. Do you know what ejemplos means? Ejemplos means examples. So we are going to be covering a few ejemplos. Stay to the end and this will be so easy for you. You'll never have to cover it again. Tú. When do we use tú? We use tú whenever we're talking to our friends. If you feel comfortable with a person, you click. You would use tú. You would call him tú. You. Can you say tú? Tú. It's a very soft T. Tú. An ejemplo. Tú eres mi amigo. You are my friend. Tú. Tú eres mi amigo. Tú eres, you are, mi, my, amigo. Friend. Siguiente ejemplo, next example. Tú eres, means you are, mi amiga. You are my friend. Female, notice, it ends with an A, amiga. Tú eres mi amiga. Next ejemplo. Tú eres mi compañero. Which means you are my friend, my classmate, Oh my mate, compañero. Can you say, tú eres mi compañero? Excelente. 
Siguiente ejemplo, next example. Tú eres mi colega. That means you are my workmate. And in some places, colega also implies closeness. My buddy, colega. So as you can see, we use to when we feel familiar with somebody. When there is a sense of familiarity, we would use to. Tú and usted are both Spanish words for you. They mean exactly the same thing. However, as we've been learning, tú implies familiarity, closeness. Usted, on the other hand, is more formal, implies respect. Use tú when talking to family members or friends. If you know the person well, if it's maybe your brother or sister, your cousins, you would refer to them as tú, you, tú. Talking to someone the same age as you as well would actually allow you to use the pronoun tú. So somebody who is not in a position of authority relative to you. Somebody who is pretty much on the same level as you. Like a classmate. So remember, we use tú with our friends, people that we feel very comfortable with, people the same age, and we use usted with all the people, or people in very important positions, like the principal of the school, or like the prime minister president of a country. However, when somebody says to you, me puedes tutear, they're giving you permission to use tú with them. In other words, they're breaking the ice with you. You still respect them, but there's more familiarity. So if somebody says, me puedes tutear, you can safely use tú without coming across as brass or rude. Excuse my voice, I got a bit of a cold. <coughs> When someone asks you to, they might say, puedes tutearme, which means they give you permission to use tú. It usually happens because your relationship has gotten closer or because the other person simply wants you to feel at ease. So people can also specifically request you to tutearme. Tutearme means you can address me using you, which implies more familiarity. You feel more relaxed around the person. Let's see some examples. Usted es el jefe? Oh, puedes tutearme. So as you can see here, this girl is addressing him as usted in a more formal manner, but he's giving him permission to use tú. Ah, oh, okay. Tú eres el jefe. Sí, yo soy el jefe. No eres. Usted implies formality, whereas tú is way more informal. Recap. Me puedes tutear when you don't know very well someone older than you. You can start with usted. And if you later on feel comfortable, switch to tú. If the person specifically says tuteame or me puedes tutear, that means that person is giving you permission to break the ice and address him, him in a more informal way. Use usted when the other person is older than you. The other person is in a position of authority. For example, a teacher, professor, your boss, or a government official such as a police officer. Usted implies respect. It implies formality. Usted is pronounced as usted. We'll see some examples of usted so you understand the idea, how this works. So we are going to see a few examples. How would you use usted? You should use usted to address strangers, people whom you are not familiar with, or people whom you wish to show respect, and all that person who you want to show respect. For example, your friend's grandfather or your friend's mother, an honorable figure or an authority. So, as we said before, tú is informal and usted is formal and it's pronounced as usted. Usted. There is a song called usted. Respectful way of addressing someone as you. Polite you. That would be another way to refer to it. If you struggle remembering when to use you, just think about using you with your friends and usted with your boss or principal. Usted es mi jefe. You are my boss. Usted es mi jefe. Notice, you wouldn't call him, you wouldn't say, tú eres mi jefe. 
In a respectful manner, you would address him as Usted es mi jefe. Usted es mi maestro. So if your teacher is older than you, you would show respect by calling him Usted es mi maestro. You are my teacher. You would refer to him as Usted instead of tú. A doctor. Usted es mi doctor. You are my doctor. That would be a respectful manner of addressing your doctor. Usted es mi doctor. By the way, amigos, I will be uploading an additional video this week, so please subscribe in that way you won't miss out. Usted es policía. You are a police officer. Once again, usted is showing honor and showing respect towards the authority. Usted es policía. Most adults address children using tú. ¿Soy un buen estudiante? Sí, tú eres un buen estudiante. Notice, he doesn't say usted es. He says tú eres un buen estudiante. So, let's recap. If the other person is older than you, the other person is in a position of authority, such as a teacher, a principal, a boss, or a government officer, you would actually refer to them as usted, you, formal, polite, respectful, usted. Most children address adults using usted. That's right, so when children are talking to adults, they use usted. ¿Es usted mi nueva maestra? Sí, yo soy tu nueva maestra. Are you my new teacher? Yes, I am your new teacher. Notice, the kid used usted. Now, this is very important. In writing, you will always come across the abbreviated form of the word usted, which becomes ud, ud dot. For example, where are you from? ¿De dónde es usted? So, whenever you see a U and a D plus a dot, as you can see here, that actually means usted. The word is not written down completely, but it's abbreviated with a U, D, and a dot, usted. Usted is usually abbreviated as ud, and it is not to be confused with ustedes. Ustedes means you all. But many people get mixed up. So, whenever you're reading and you come across the word UD dot, that means usted. You simply have to memorize this, as you will come across this on many occasions, very frequently. Usted comprende? You understand? I'm pretty sure you do. You're a smart boy, smart girl. ¿De dónde es usted? Where are you from? In a polite manner. ¿De dónde es usted? Following are some examples of sentences that use tú and usted. So let's see both in action. ¿Cómo se llama usted? O ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo se llama usted? O ¿Cómo te llamas? Both mean what's your name. However, the top one is formal because it's using usted. And the one at the bottom is informal. Next example. ¿Usted tiene hijos? ¿Tú tienes hijos? Do you have children? Formal, the one on top. Informal, the one below. By the way, amigos, I want to improve my videos and I needed your feedback. How do you like these lessons? With background music or without background music? Please leave your comment. Thank you. Next one. ¿Usted está bien? ¿O tú estás bien? The top one is formal, it implies respect, you can see the older person there is formal, and the one below informal, tu estas bien, could be one of your friends that you're asking. Very good, homework, tarea. So see if you can do the following, write five examples using usted, and write five examples using tu. Fantástico, my amigos. 
thank you so much for having watched my video. Please subscribe. The channel is growing. We already hit 10,000 subscribers and we almost 11,000 subscribers already. Very good, my dear amigos. Los quiero. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you soon. Adios.